Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, let us dive right in because what we see is that you're on your way creating this foundation in your life, really establishing certain awarenesses that are going to allow you to... Uh, better further understand yourself. Now, why this is so important is because if you are creating a life that you don't like based upon fears, so you experience fear in the body, you feel you react off of that fear, what's going to happen then is we are no longer creating the life we want. We are regurgitating emotional reactions that we've stored in the body from previous chapters. So what that means is this, because we see here with this King of Pentacles is that you're your ideas of today, right, and where you're being guided towards right now, this is going to be play a crucial role in the future chapters because you're going through experiences that are going to give you, again, the knowledge and the data for you to be more aware of how you want your life to look. Now, again, this is like a long game. This isn't a short game, right? That's why right now it's more important to just understand that every moment is really just you with you learning more about yourself based upon how you energetically feel. So if you energetically feel like something isn't flowing very easily in your life, you suddenly feel fear and worry towards something, or maybe you feel a sense of betrayal or like uh, inauthenticity or adversity or you're paying more attention to the people around you who are not doing so well in your life. All of that is you feeling separate from yourself. You're feeling disconnected from yourself. You're feeling inauthentic. The name of the game right now is for you to understand your only responsibility in this game of life is to maintain your highest frequency possible, your alignment with your desired outcome or the person that you feel inspired to be. That's how you reclaim your power. It's not up to you to save the world and it's not up to you to save the people in your life. It is up to you to recognize who you feel inspired by to maintain that feeling state Act from that place and be the way shower for those around you, but never to bear witness to the suffering or the adversity around you and focus upon it because that will be you taking your high, naturally high frequency and lowering it to meet those around you that are in that place. Now, for some of you, you might be nurses, so you're around this energy all the time. So it's going to be much, much, much more significant for you to, in your hours before going to your job, going to your nursing or hospital jobs or, or healthcare jobs, for you to upgrade your frequency significantly so when you are in these environments that are going to be filled with low vibrations, you are not feeling those low frequencies and absorbing them. You're able to maintain that high frequency because you've cleared enough energy. So I was once working in a very low frequency position, maybe not a hospital situation, but low frequency. And so every morning I would wake up early, I would meditate, I would exercise. Now this exercise isn't meant to deplete. This exercise is meant to clear energy. So that would be some type of body weight, uh, a more fast paced, intense movement. We are uh, vibrations. Vi or we are basically a bundle of vibrations. And so when we move our energy really fast, we clear the energy, right? Breath work also does it too. But when we are in a high dense air area and we go and we are in this high dense area all the time, moving your body with more intensity is going to serve you better than lifting weights, depleting your energy and so forth. It's, it'll most likely benefit you better, right? So that's what you're going to want to do. And then afterwards, maybe go for a walk uh, and clear that energy from the environment you're in, right? That's the responsibility of having the higher frequency. But when you have the highest frequency possible, everything shows up, right? And so right now, we want you to understand that everything 
the reason why you're even here to begin with is to live the life you want to live, right? To live the life you want to live. But we're unable to live the lives we want to live if we are not being responsible with our with our with our with our energy and where we're placing our focus. It's very difficult for us to remain focused on our truth and what makes sense for us if we have a lot of stored emotions and energy in the body from people were around and environments were around, you see. So it's not going to be conducive. You got to take responsibility for your energy and just be the way shower for those around you and not take their energy on as your own, you see. So we want you, to, you're at a place in your life right now where it, you got to recognize when you're choosing to make choices that don't necessarily feel good, it doesn't mean, you don't want to blame that choice itself, right? You want to recognize, hmm, maybe this choice actually doesn't align with the person I want to be. That's what you're at, you're in this place right now, Scorpio, where you're realizing what are your desires, right? You're asking yourself, what are my desires? What is it that I really want? Does this work? Does that work? And the more you pay, pay attention to your frequency, to your energy, to how you feel, then you're going to be more receptive to when things either feel like who you want to be, right? Become and what doesn't feel your truth. Because remember, what's going to feel more familiar right now is the feeling state of where you've already been. So as you start to build or upgrade your life by making different choices, right? Following your passions, trying new things, you're going to upgrade your frequency. Now, there's going to be moments where you're really excited, right? Or maybe feel nervous, right? Maybe feel the fear of that, of that new uncertainty, right? I'm trying this new thing. Is it working? Is it not? You might feel fear. You might feel excitement. That's emotions coming up from the energy body looking to be cleared, you see. And so we don't want to react from that emotional state, you know, over-exercise, overeat, you know, over over be excited, you know, over give our energy. We don't want to do any of that, right? Because that's going to, that's going to be us reacting. And then we're going to crash and burn very quickly. And then our frequency is going to drop. And then we're going to go back to making a choice that feels familiar to us from the chapter we just left. Nothing is good or bad. It's just, it is what it is, right? Just understand it. Then in those moments where you fall back into the same familiar low frequency, do not be hard on yourself. Just recognize I'm in the frequency that I just came from. That's why it doesn't feel like my truth here in this low frequency. I have now made choices that I used to make. That's why it doesn't feel good because I've upgraded from there. And then it's just about clearing that energy away through the simple practice of meditation. Uh, again, physical movement will work, getting outside in nature, maybe doing some sound healing, but not to be hard on yourself, just to recognize the process of what happens and to just trust in the great mystery. So Spirit is saying to you now, right? Reclaim your power, take the lead, connect to your passions, follow your passions, right? There's going to be an in-between phase and the in-between phase, us humans tend to get bored because everything is very instant gratification here on planet earth, right? Instant. And it's not instant, this game of life, right? So we're just asking you to continuously trust in the mystery, trust in the process, even through those moments where you feel like maybe you're not doing enough or nothing's really happening. Don't fall into that limited space because that will just drop your frequency into a fear place. Be mindful of the things that you watch very mindful of the things that you absorb right now because you're in this kind of uh, you're like a newborn baby deer you know you don't want to come up and like push the deer over it's going to fall over you know so you really want to be careful of what you're spending your time doing right what you're watching the environments you're in it would be a good time to spend a lot of time with yourself you know what i mean meditation solitude um nature um maintaining uh being able to being in environments where you can maintain a happy vibration and even if you can't and you're in these nine to fives it's not a big deal it really just means don't be hard on yourself try not to take on more than you can handle because the more you say yes to you're just in, in, in saying yes to more energy in the energy body and as you ascend your energy body is getting used to those higher frequencies and if you say yes to too many things you're just going to crash and burn because the frequency is going to be so high it's like i went went to a I went from a place in my life where i was really only eating meat and coffee a very acidic environment and then when i drank lemon juice it was so overwhelming for me that i felt so sick my brain was just like spinning it was like such a uh, alkaline from acidic place my i wasn't ready for it physically right so that's why try not to overdo it for yourself just pay attention to 
what actually feels good and and just to you know be responsible with your energy because really uh it's it, that that get that that journey is really powerful but we do have to be cautious of it now we have a really fun affirmation for you today write this down in the comments below grab your journal write this down unexpected channels of wealth are opening up for me unexpected channels of wealth are opening up for me unexpected channels of wealth are opening up for me this is what's happening for you right now beautiful soul remember this repeat this daily your angel message for today is acceptance so your angels are saying to you now, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Do you hear that? You inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential by accepting who you are and honoring and, and owning who you are by what you love, by what you're connected to, by what you're guided towards. Now, if you're guided towards something, that's you, baby. But half the time we're so fearful. Well, what's going to happen? What if I'm not good at it? Well, what if someone laughs at me? It's That's you. So you're going to be the best at it. Have faith in that journey. Have faith in the process. Spirit's always guiding you. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.